What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. No, no, we won't see Benedict's quest for love in the third, much anticipated installment of Bridgerton. We will see Colin and Penelope instead. But that's not all. This time, we'll also see more focus on Eloise. Does this mean we'll also see her quest for love? Let's start off with something we're all curious about. Release date. Okay, before we get into details regarding Penelope, Colin, Eloise, and while the rest of the characters that will be featured in season 3, we want to ask, which season do you guys think? think was better, the one led by Daphne and Simon or the one led by Anthony and Kate. Honestly, we vote for Anthony and Kate simply because of all the tension and chemistry between the two. But we do want to know your opinion, so make sure you drop it down in the comments. Now, considering the enormous popularity of the period drama, Netflix greenlighted season 3 prior to the release of season 2. The show made the streaming giant millions and millions of bucks, so this should not come as a surprise. Anyway, Bridgerton first premiered on Netflix in late 20. 20, and well, it took the world by storm. We actually believe that Bridgerton is as popular as Downton Abbey was back in 2010. But unlike Downton Abbey, Bridgerton has one face that actually leads the show, Lady Whistledown, an anonymous person who is spilling the tea from start to finish. The second installment premiered in March 2022 and was even more popular than its predecessor. The first series was inspired by Julia Quinn's book, The Duke and I, while the second series followed the events from Quinn's second book, The the Viscount Who Loved Me. There are 8 books in total, so you have no reason to worry about the show being over soon. Have we mentioned that season 4 is also confirmed by Netflix? Netflix confirmed the two additional installments on 13th of April 2021. Sadly, an exact release date is yet to be announced, but we do hope to see the upcoming episodes in the first half of 2023. The second installment premiered on the 25th of March 2022, while season 1 aired on the 25th of December 2020. This makes it difficult for us to guess a release date, but considering the fact that production started on July 21, we might see the third installment sometime in the summer of 2023. Now let's jump into some exciting plot details. As previously mentioned, the show is an adaptation of eight novels and numerous epilogues written by Julia Quinn. The adaptation comes thanks to Shonda Rhimes' Shondaland Productions. In the previous installments, viewers followed widowed matriarch Violet, played by Ruth Gemmell, and her eight children as they all seek the perfect one in Regency England's high society. The first installment focused on the eldest daughter Daphne, portrayed by Phoebe Dinevore, and her unexpected romance with Simon Bassett, Duke of Hastings, a character played by Regé Jean Page. The second installment then moved to the eldest brother Anthony, played by Jonathan Bailey, and his romance with Kate Sharma, played by Simone Ashley. Bridgerton swept us off our feet. Netflix VP of Global TV Bella Baharia said in a statement along with a confirmation for seasons 3 and 4, adding that the creative team, led by Shonda, knew the material and delivered a beautiful emotional romantic drama for our members. They have some exciting plans for the future, and we think audiences will continue to swoon for the show. We're planning to be in the Bridgerton business for a long time to come. The season 2 finale gave a happily ever after to Anthony and Kate, but what about Colin and Penelope? Well, their relationship is expected to take some more difficult roads. As already mentioned, the third installment will be led by Penelope, aka Lady Whistledown, and Colin Bridgerton. Nicola Coughlin confirmed this during the FISI panel on May 15 per Variety. The the second installment didn't end on a good note for these two characters as Colin said some awful words about his potential love interest. To be more precise, he said he would never consider courting her. The most awful thing is that Penelope overheard these comments. I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington, not in your wildest fantasies, Fife. <laughs> <laughs> this makes the start of their romance a bit complicated. In an official synopsis, Netflix spilled some of the details regarding the upcoming story. The synopsis reads, Make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Penelope Federington has finally given up on her long-held crush on Colin Bridgerton, aka Luke Newton, after hearing his disparaging words about her last season. She has, however, decided it's time to take a husband, preferably one who will provide her with enough independence to continue her double life as Lady Whistledown, far away from her mother and sisters. The streaming giant continued saying that Penelope finding a husband proves to be a bit difficult and when Colin returns home from his summer travels, he discovers that Penelope, who was his only true friend, does not care for him anymore. This is when Colin offers to mentor Penelope in the ways of confidence to help her find a husband this season. 
But when his lessons start working a little too well, Colin must grapple with whether his feelings for Penelope are truly just friendly. As you already know, Eloise discovered that her best friend is actually Lady Whistledown, which will further complicate things for the anonymous writer. The third season marks one of the biggest changes in the series from Quinn's book. In the written series, the next Bridgerton to go on a quest for love is Benedict, a character played by Luke Thompson. His story is told in An Offer from a Gentleman. In it, Benedict falls in love with Sophie Beckett, an earl's daughter having a troubled life because of her evil stepmother. The book that focuses on Colin is titled Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which is fourth in the lineup. The big question is, will the whole cast return? After the big page departure from the series, fans got worried that they won't see Bailey and Ashley in the next installment. Well, not everyone is thinking like Paige, and thankfully, Ashley confirmed to Deadline that both she and Bailey will return to reprise their role in the continuation. We're going to be back. Kate and Anthony are just getting started, she told the outlet. There have been, however, some casting changes as Hannah Dodd will now play the part of Francesca Bridgerton, replacing actress Ruby Stokes, who decided to leave the series and completely focus on Netflix's Lockwood & Co. Edwina Sharma's actress, Sharitha Chandran, is sadly not returning for season 3. Netflix confirmed three new additions for the next episodes. Daniel Francis, known for his role in Stay Close, will play Marcus Anderson. Sam Phillips, known for The Crown, will play Lord Debling, and James Foon will play Harry Dankworth. For all those wondering, let's see if Regé Jean Page is coming back as Simon, shall we? Unfortunately, Page hasn't made up his mind, and he will not reprise his role as the Duke of Hastings. Some rumors suggested that he accepted the offer to reprise his role at least in three episodes, but the actor actor himself shut down the rumors via an Instagram post on June 21, 2022. In it, he is seen with his former co-star Bailey. He wrote in the caption, No, I'm not going back to the show by the way. The papers made that one up. When asked whether he'll be okay if Netflix decided to recast his former role, he said they're free to do as they like. What do you guys think of another actor playing the Duke of Hastings? Let us know before we lay our eyes on these first look photos. Some of the cast members decided to release a behind-the-scenes sneak glimpse on July 20, 2022. Thanks to this peak, we also know that production has finally begun in London. Bridgerton Season 3 filming has officially begun, Colin says in the short video, as Newton joins her. Not long after, Ashley and Bailey shared a set photo of them holding each other's hands. Both of them wrote, reunited, during Netflix's annual Tidum event. The cast released the title of the first episode. Colin then decided to read the first lines from this episode. She said, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, seriously. Dearest gentle reader, we've been apart for far too long. At last, London's smart set has made its return, and so too has this author. As the season begins, the question on everyone's minds is, of course, which newly minted debutante will shine the brightest? The crop this year's appears to be rather dazzling indeed. Unfortunately, not every young lady can attract the light. See you in the next video.